everybody and welcome back to another video here on my channel so today's video over the past couple days i have asked you guys to send in things that you need advice about at your current stage of life stuff that just isn't really going your way also this video is going to be a little bit more on the lengthy side how long i have my glasses on and i am ready to read you guys for phil you guys are in a crisis i'm on my way how do i pick a major that I'll actually get a job in and won't regret for the rest of my life. Ugh, this is a doozy. <laughs> There's nothing that says that you have to be one thing in your life. People might go to the same job for 20 years and decide that it's time to pick up the pieces and move on. It is your life. And I think the more we all stop worrying so much and just assuming that things aren't gonna go right, just ask yourself, but what if they did? What if I do find something that sets my heart ablaze with passion and is my calling and everything just falls into place, everything makes sense once you find that one major? You have to always have the attitude that that will happen to you. How do I cancel people? Should I confront them and say it was shitty or just realize that it's not worth my time? A very good question indeed. Nothing's worse than trying to move on and grow in your life and you still carry around toxic energy that brings you down, makes you think of the past, and inhibits you from moving on in your life. So this is when I'm going to have to turn the question back over to you. How close are you with this person? Are they going to notice if you distance yourself from them or are they so shitty that they're probably not even going to notice or care? okay important questions to ponder unless they just like really really fuck you over i think it's important to keep them in a cordial position in your life where there's no beef everything's okay you are at a mutual agreement that okay we're gonna be a little bit distant from each other but there's no reason to there's no reason to beef there's no reason to hold grudges to be negative um you just gotta keep it moving you know people come and go you learn different lessons from different people my boyfriend is in san diego until christmas if your feelings only grow more amorous over time when they're gone that is a sign that that's that's somebody that you need to keep in your life because that shows that it's not just a mere physical connection it's not just something that flourishes when you see them and you're so excited to see them and you get butterflies every time you see them if you can still feel all of those amazing wonderful loving feelings when they are miles and miles away from you then that is something important that's someone important how do i learn new vocab for my language class without forgetting old vocab listen to music in the language that you are studying make a playlist, make several playlists. I honestly listen to German music nowadays more than I listen to um, music in English. Um, it literally helps me so much. Um, I just look up the lyrics so I like kind of know what the song is about and then from there I just try to um, derive a meaning from the song. And honestly, like, I'm, you guys are gonna be like, okay, Chloe, please take several seats, but I genuinely do think in German as much as I can. Like, when I wake up in the morning, I think to myself, I'm tired in German, or I'll be like, oh, I gotta get up in German, I gotta get out the door in German. So it's just, you you have to, like, be disciplined, you have to train yourself. Like, if you don't know how to say something in German, look up how to say it, but then work your way around it, you know? If you're trying to get here to say this, say everything that you can say around it until you finally get to the point um the next question says how do i tell my friend they're being arrogant maybe like the next time they say something like really kind of cocky or whatever um bring up someone else who did a really good job and give other people praise and kind of try to take some of the spotlight off of them oh my god did anyone hear that did you guys hear that there was a loud screaming noise if something you love to do becomes too toxic, toxic for you to do it and isn't fun anymore, should you quit doing it to improve your life or keep doing it because you made a commitment a while back and it's something worth suffering for? I don't love the word quitting in this situation because it implies that you can never pick it up and retry it again in the future. 
sometimes you need to take a break from something going on right now but it doesn't mean that you're never gonna do it again in your life and you're just gonna pack it up in a box and ship it away and never touch it again my advice would be take a break see how you feel not having that thing in your life and if it does turn out that it's something um, that you miss and you feel like you need pick it back up and try again and as I said, I'm trying not to make this too personal to the person that it's about, but they're going to welcome you back. Why not tell the dean? Tell the person in charge of the whole department. You know, collect your coin, get them fired. <laughs> um, I'm really not kidding because college costs way too much money for those professors to be slacking. If we're not allowed to slack, the professor shouldn't be able to slack either. How do I make friends more easily at college? So, I've been thinking a lot about this and the conclusion that I have uh, arrived at is that say you have a friend in your class that like, you really only talk to them in the class, like you don't really, you know, it's not like a real friendship, like you just see them in that class and kind of hang out with them there. Um, ask them if they want to do something. Ask them if they want to go to lunch after class. Ask them if they want to study after class. Um, those people that you meet in those classes, like, there's a reason that you guys kind of gravitated towards each other. So, I say just take the friendship one step further. You know, not every single person is going to be your best, best friend. But I feel like if you just kind of, like, initiate the first move with someone who you, you kind of know but not really that well, um, just you know okay the next question reads how do i be more confident in my body body positivity this is an issue that hits extremely close to home for me i have been insecure about my body my appearance i honestly think for my entire life like i feel like i remember being insecure about my body when i was in like preschool you no know, we what we see as beautiful right now is a product of capitalism of selling makeup of selling skinny tea of selling detox of selling lip injections and fillers and that's another thing if you know you're on the explore page and you it's just like okay hot girl hot girl hot girl hot girl hot girl, like you need to understand that that isn't really even them okay that's not really even who they are either um i don't know if you guys know there's a really um like famous popular instagram model girl right now um her instagram username is wolfie cindy her name's cindy kimberly i've been following forever um she's literally one of I, she's beautiful she's gorgeous stunning amazing everything and um there's this channel on youtube called photoshop surgeon and they basically like take these famous people's faces and reconstruct them so that they are actually perfect like um with the ratio and everything and every and when they changed her into the perfect person it was a huge like moment of reckoning for me because I was like she's not even perfect is anyone perfect no but all of those people when they made them into being perfect they didn't look good like yeah they were perfect but they looked a lot better with their you know slightly different eyebrows with their slightly different sized eyes you know with their blemishes like it literally it's so cheesy but think about every single person who has ever existed okay literally even right now there's what 7.5 billion people or whatever and you look the way you do you have the skin you do you have the body you do you look the way you do no one else has that so celebrate it i mean geez you know we're hopefully we live till you know about 80 or so and then what we're dead what is the point of hating ourselves and and hating the skin that we're in and seeing it as a trap is something that holds us down use your body as okay i'm getting like really intense here but use your body use the skin that you are in to change the way that we see beauty and things like that use it for good use it for change don't dwell your parents created you you were created to look that the to look the way you do I could look at okay my hip tip my fat stomach my fat this my fat this but you know what it's that same skin it's that same fat body fat body that 
got an A on my on my exam that made a new friend that had a good chicken sandwich for lunch like your body is the what the mode of transportation is the means for you to achieve what you want to do your body helps you do what you want to do there is no hip to waist ratio there is no golden ratio on your face that can ever be more important or more amazing more valuable than your thoughts your words what you say what you think what you do your actions how you make people feel your friends the connections that you make in your life there i mean yeah being being pretty like okay and and like okay you have you're skinny okay you have a fat ass and okay guys that's about it for this week's video um if you have made it this far into the video and watched everything i appreciate you so much um i promise next week's video will be a little bit more funny and lighthearted, but i really just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and i think so much about how everyone in their life is going through so many different things and sometimes they just need help they just need a word of advice and i wanted to be that for you guys this week so thank you very much for watching and i will see you all back here next week